Hey guys, it's Ami and Moore, and welcome to the Crochet Squid Game. Today, I'm going to show you how to create these Ami Gurumis, including this iconic pink soldier. Its features include the hoodie and pink jumpsuit, as well as the shape on top of its head, and it has lines on its mask. There's a zipper in the center of the body and a belt. If you look closely, you'll notice that the base for the body for the player and soldier are both the same. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Here are the materials you'll need. You'll need a 4.0mm size crochet hook and also a 2.75mm size crochet hook. You'll also need worsted weight acrylic yarn. I use Red Heart Super Saver in the color black and shocking pink. You'll also need cotton thread size 3 in the color white and I also use Fabri-Tac glue. I use the cotton thread for the shapes for the mask and also to glue on for a cleaner look. For the hoodie with pink yarn, you're going to go ahead and make a slip knot onto your hook. And for round 1, chain 2, that's 1, 2, and then 6 single crochet stitch into the first chain. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And you're going to close it tight and then we'll use a stitch marker to mark the end of our last stitch. Now you're going to ignore this loop right here because that doesn't count and we should have six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now for round two, we're going to do two in each stitch all the way around and you should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So in our very first stitch, it's going to be one and two into our same stitch. Next stitch is also one and two. And then next stitch, one and two, one, two, one, two, and our very last stitch we're going to have one and two single crochet stitches and now we should have 12 single crochet stitches around. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, repeat around, and we should have 18 single crochet stitches. So in our very first stitch, it's going to be one and two into the same stitch, and then one into our next stitch, and it's two, one again, so it's going to be one and two, and then in our next stitch, just one. Continue to repeat the pattern around. At the end, you should have 18 single crochet stitches. Round four, our pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one. Continue to repeat around, and you should have 24 single crochet stitches. So that is one and two into the same stitch and then one and one. Repeat the pattern again to one, one. That's one and two and one and one. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around and you should have 24 single crochet stitches at the end. For round five, our pattern is two, and in our next seven, we just have one, and then repeat the pattern all the way around, and you'll have 27 single crochet stitches. So that is one and two, and in our next seven, just do one. So that's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. Repeat the pattern again so that it's one and two into the same stitch, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And continue to repeat the pattern for one last time. For rounds 6 through 10, we are just going to stay at 27 single crochet stitches. So we're just going to do one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round 10. If we count, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rounds completed. And we'll want to finish off with a slip stitch and cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here is your hoodie completed. Now for the head, you'll want to use black yarn, but I'm going to use a dark gray yarn so that you can see the stitches better. Now for round one, you'll want to chain two. That's one and two. And then you'll do six single crochet stitch into the first chain. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you'll just want to tighten up the loop and we'll use a stitch marker to go into our last stitch. And now we're going to do two in each stitch all the way around. So you'll have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So in our very first stitch, that's going to be one and two and one and two and continue to repeat all the way around. Round three, our pattern is two, one, two, one. Repeat all the way around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches. So that is one and two and one. And continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round four, our pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one. Repeat around and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches. So in our first stitch, that's one and two and one and one. And continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For rounds five through seven, we are just going to stay at 24 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round seven. Now for round eight, we'll want to work through the front loop only before we went through both loops. And this is the front loop and that's the back loop. So we only want to go through the front loop only and do a slip stitch all the way around. So we're going to go through the front loop and do a slip stitch. Okay, we're going to go through front loop and do a slip stitch and go ahead and continue all the way around. This is how your head should look like so far. And then if we look, we have the back loop remaining. So for our round 8B, we'll want to go through our back loops. And our pattern is we're going to do a decrease. And then in our next four stitches, just one in each. So that is one, two, three, and four. Repeat the pattern again. It's a decrease right here. 
And then in our next four, just one. So that's one, two, three, and four. Oops, that's four right here. And then continue to repeat this pattern all the way around. And at the end, you should have 20 single crochet stitches. For round nine, we are just going to stay at 20 single crochet stitches. So it is just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 10, our pattern is going to be a decrease. And then our next eight, just one single crochet stitch, repeat around, and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches. So here's our first decrease. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Repeat the pattern again. It's a decrease. And it's one single crochet stitch in the rest of the stitches. For round 11, our pattern is a decrease. And in our next four, just one and repeat around and you'll have 15 single crochet stitches. So this is a decrease and one, two, three, and four. Repeat again, it's a decrease and one, two, three, and four. And continue to repeat the pattern one last time. For round 12, our pattern is going to be a decrease. And in our next three, just one repeat around and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches. So here is a decrease. One, two, and three. Repeat the pattern again, a decrease. And then it's just one, two, and three and continue to repeat the pattern one last time. For round 13, we are going to decrease all the way around and you'll have six single crochet stitches at the end. So here is our first decrease and two, three, four, five, and our very last decrease of six. And you'll want to cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here is your head or mask completed. For the body with black yarn for round one, you will chain two. That is one, two, and you'll do five single crochet into the first chain. It's one, two, three, four, five, and pull the uh, chain tight. You'll use a stitch marker. Now for round two, we are going to ignore that one because that's not a stitch and then do two in each stitch all the way around. So in our first stitch, we are going to do our first single crochet stitch and into the same stitch, our second single crochet stitch, and into our next stitch, it's going to be one and two, and continue to repeat all the way around. And you should have 10 single crochet stitches at the end. For round three, we will do one in each stitch around. So we will stay at 10 single crochet stitches. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now we will want to make a color change to pink yarn. We are going to prep the pink by making a slip knot. And then for our, um, project, we are going to do a single crochet stitch into our next stitch, but instead of finishing it off, I'm going to grab the 
pink yarn and pull it through to finish off the single crochet stitch and then I will move the stitch marker and this will mark the end of the round now for round four our pattern is two and then in our next four stitches just one and repeat all round and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches so that's one and two into the same stitch and then it's going to be just one two three and four repeat the pattern again it's two here so it's one and two and then it's going to be one two three and in our last stitch four can also cut off the black yarn because we don't need that anymore for rounds five through seven we will stay at 12 single crochet stitch so it's just one in each stitch all the way around so go ahead and work up your stitches and i will meet you at the end of round seven so we've completed our first leg which is leg a and you'll want to cut off a tail and fasten off now you'll want to repeat the pattern from rounds one through seven one more time to create our second leg or leg B, but this time we do not want to fasten off. So go ahead and repeat the pattern once more. So here's my two part and this one is, the, this is leg A, leg B. So now this one is still attached so now here i'm going to insert my hook into the second chain here one two from the last book so i'm going to put it inside here and then here's my next i'm going to grab this yarn and then in my leg b my next portion here is right here i'm going to insert hook right here it's kind of like they line up and then i'm going to do a single crochet stitch so I just joined one, my next one I'm going to go here and here okay. and then right here I'm going to do the same, go through both layers. So I go through this one first and the next one right here. So that's three and then my next one right here and it will go right here. And that is four. So now if I look, I've combined it through four, six, so they are joined together. So now if we count, I should have 16 crochet stitches on the outside. So if I count, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. For round 8, we will go around and do one in each stitch around. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then we'll go into not that stitch, but this is the next stitch right here. So it's going to be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now we can mark the end of our last stitch with our stitch marker. For round nine, our pattern is going to be two and then one, one, one. Repeat the pattern around and you'll have 20 single crochet stitches. So that's going to be one and two into the same stitch and one, two, and three. Repeat the pattern again. There's two here. So that's going to be one and two. And then it's just one in the next three. So that's one, two, and three. 
and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For rounds 10 and 11, we're just going to do one in each stitch all the way around and we'll stay at 20 single crochet stitches. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round 11. So this is how your body should look like. And now we're just going to do single crochet in the next five stitch only. So that it's one, two, three, four and five and then we're going to move our stitch marker to our um, last stitch and that will be the end of our round now and i just do that because i just want it to be at the side of the pants now for round 12 we are going to work in the back loop only so if we look that is the front loop that's the back loop before we went through both loops, but now I will only want to go through the back loop only. So we are going to do our pattern is a decrease in the back loop. And then in our next eight stitches, it's just one. So it's going to be in the back loop only. We are going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we look, we see a ridge form from the front loops remaining right there. And now we're gonna repeat the pattern again, which is a decrease into the back loop and in the rest of the back loop stitches we're just going to do one in each of the remaining stitches. Now for round 13 we're going to start going through both loops again and our pattern is going to be a decrease and then in the next seven just one repeat the pattern again and you have 16 single crochet stitches. So here is a decrease and then in the next seven, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Repeat the pattern again. You're going to do a decrease. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and in our very last stitch, seven. For round 14, our pattern is a decrease. And in the next six, just one single crochet and repeat around and you have 14 single crochet stitches. Here is our first decrease. And one, two, three, four, five, and six and repeat the pattern again. We are going to do a decrease and in the rest of the stitches just one single crochet stitch in each stitch. For round 15 we're just going to stay at 14 single crochet stitches so it's just one in each stitch around so go ahead and work up your stitches. Round 16, our pattern is a decrease, and in our next five, just one, repeat the pattern around, and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches. So here is our first decrease, and then it's one, two, three, four, and five. Repeat the pattern one more time, a decrease. And then one, two, three, four, and five into our last stitch. Now you should have 12 single crochet stitches. For round 17, we're going to stay at 12 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and finish up your stitches. At the end, you can cut a tail and fasten off, and here is our body completed.
for the belt with black yarn you're going to make a slip knot onto your hook and then you'll want to go to the middle of the body where we have the front loop remaining and then we're going to fasten on with a slip stitch and then we are going to go ahead and slip stitch all the way around to create the belt in the middle of the body. So go ahead and work up your stitches. At the end, you'll want to cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here's how it should look like. For the arm with black yarn, you are going to do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring. That's one, two, three, and four. And then you're going to close your loop and use a stitch marker to mark the end of our round. For round two, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, and you'll have six single crochet stitches at the end. So in our very first stitch, it is going to be one and two in the same stitch, and next stitch is just one. Repeat the pattern again. It's going to be one and two into the same stitch, and then just one into this very last stitch. And you should have six single crochet stitches in total. Now you want to color change to pink yarn. So we're going to prep our pink by doing a slip knot onto our crochet hook. And then with our project, we're going to do a single crochet stitch into our next stitch. But we will grab our pink yarn and finish off the single crochet stitch. And we will move our stitch marker so that becomes the end of the round. Now we're ready to do round three. And our pattern is going to be two in our next stitch which is going to be one and two and then in our next two just one so that's one and then one and then it's going to be two one one so in our very first stitch that's one and two and in our next two it's just going to be one one stitch and then one again and now we should have eight single crochet stitches. For rounds four through eight we will stay at eight single crochet stitches so it's just one in each stitch around so go ahead and work up your stitches. So this is how your arm should look like and now for round nine we're going to do a decrease and then one one repeat around and you'll have six single crochet stitches. So here's our first decrease and then it's going to be one and one. Repeat again a decrease and then it's one and one into our last stitch and then you're going to cut off a long tail and fasten off and here is our arm completed and you want to make two now we're going to do the ranking shapes for the mask with a crochet hook 2.75 millimeter in size and for the yarn you're going to use cotton thread size 3 in white. For the circle you are going to chain 24. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and continue to crochet until you have 24 chains. And then you're going to do a slip stitch to the first chain to connect the ends together. So here we are doing the slip stitch. And then you can cut off a tail and fasten off. And here is our circle completed. For the triangle, you will go ahead and chain 10. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, and 10. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the previous chain. And then we'll chain 9. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you'll do a slip stitch into the previous chain. And then we'll chain 8. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then we're going to connect to the very first chain. So we connect the ends together. And then you're going to cut off a tail and fasten off. And here is our triangle completed. Now for the square, you are going to go ahead and chain 8. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Slip stitch into the previous chain and then we're going to chain 7. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Slip stitch into the previous chain and chain 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Slip stitch into the previous chain and then we're going to chain 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then we're going to cut off the long tail and fasten off. And then use the yarn needle to connect the ends together. And now here is our square completed. Here is our finished pink soldier amigurumi. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch all my latest tutorial. And my next tutorial is going to be the player from the crochet squid game. So be sure to check it out. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.